Ever feel like you're running on empty even after a full night's sleep? Or maybe you're wired and anxious for no reason at all. The culprit might be a tiny butterfly-shaped gland in your neck that you've probably never even thought about. Today we're diving into Thyroid 101 and trust me, this little guy is a huge deal. So what is the thyroid? Picture a small butterfly right at the base of your neck. This gland is your body's master metabolic engine. It produces two key hormones, T3 and T4, which act like tiny messengers telling every single cell in your body how much energy to use. Think of it as the gas pedal for your entire system. Now your thyroid doesn't work alone. It's part of a sophisticated team called the HPT axis. It starts in your brain, where the hypothalamus sends a signal to the pituitary gland. The pituitary then releases TSH, or thyroid-stimulating hormone, which tells your thyroid, hey, it's time to get to work. It's a beautiful self-regulating hormonal relay that keeps everything in check. When the system is humming along perfectly, you feel great. Your energy is stable. Your heart beats at a steady rhythm. Your body temperature is just right. Your digestion is smooth. And your brain is sharp and focused. But what happens when that gas pedal gets stuck? Well, if it gets stuck in the slow position, you have what's called hypothyroidism. Your metabolism grinds to a near halt. You might feel constantly exhausted, gain weight even when you're eating well, feel cold all the time, and experience brain fog. Even your hair can become brittle and dry. It's like trying to drive with the emergency brake on. On the flip side, if the pedal is slammed to the floor, that's hyperthyroidism. Your metabolism goes into overdrive. This can leave you feeling anxious and jittery, with a heart that feels like it's racing a mile a minute. You might lose weight unexpectedly, sweat a lot, and have trouble sleeping. It's like your body is running a marathon 24-7. So how do you know if your thyroid is out of whack? Listen to your body. Those daily signs, the constant fatigue, the brain fog, the hair changes, the unexplained weight fluctuations, they matter. If something feels consistently off, don't just brush it off as stress. Getting a diagnosis is actually pretty simple. It starts with a blood test that measures your TSH, T3, and T4 levels. Your doctor might also check for antibodies to see if an autoimmune condition, like Hashimoto's or Graves' disease, is the underlying cause. And what causes these issues? It's a mix of genetics and environment. A family history of thyroid problems can increase your risk, but so can things like chronic stress or a deficiency in iodine, a crucial mineral for hormone production. The good news is, you can support your thyroid health. Make sure your diet includes iodine-rich foods like seaweed, fish, and dairy. Find effective ways to manage your stress, whether it's through yoga, meditation, or just taking a walk in nature. And most importantly, get regular checkups with your doctor. So next time you think about your health, remember this tiny but mighty gland. It's the quiet hero.